Hi, I'm Fox. Couch Guy. And you're watching Two Smart Guys show. There's not really a title for this show no. that you can classify. But you know what I realized? Was, this is a really great show. We have a great show for you guys today. Hey! Because, you know, that's, that's what they say in all the talk shows. Oh, yeah. And usually we're like, uh, we might have this thing working, but, you know, we got a good show. It took us a long time to get this working. So. <laughs> we're doing real-time 3D image scanning using structured light. AKA how to make a 3D image for cheap. Yes. So normally you can spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on these laser scanners to scan objects and put them in 3D so you could make your own 3D video games or CGI works or you can even send them out to a 3D printer and print out duplicates. Yes. And you know what? There's, you know, I started thinking about you always have these classifications for your shows. You've got PSP hacking, Wii hacking. Yes. This should be like cool video stuff. <laughs> because there, there has to be something because there's things that you do that like, you know, only classify. There's no... Yes, it's doing this stuff for cheap, and it's just it's doing things that, you know, qualify as hacking sometimes to get the full use of a piece of equipment. Video hacking it's episode really one. really video <laughs> hacking, though. Can I, you know. Anyway, I'm on uh, a tangent that I shouldn't yeah. be on to. So, no, well, I guess we should talk about this. Traditionally, if a, uh, a company wanted to, let's just say uh, Lord of the Rings, because I uh, ever, if who's had a chance to see the Lord of the Rings thing, when they did their scanning of their monsters. Yeah. Okay. They had a really, really high-end professional person make this monster in a clay mask or something like that. And then they took it to someone, set it inside this little machine, and it looked like a gigantic red laser just scans across it. Okay. And probably cost them $10,000 a second to do it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's, it's enormously expensive. This is... Show them, show them the, the, I guess, the pre-made video. This is basically... Um, trying to do the same thing. Hello, Pox here in 3D using structured light scanning. Uh, before I get into showing you guys how this process is done, I'd like to show you how to do something else that is in the virtual realm. Go to meeting. It allows you to virtually go to meetings. So instead of, you know, like a board meeting or whatever where you have a PowerPoint presentation where everybody has to travel to the location, instead you can just, everybody can do it from their PC. Uh, the host just sends out a, an invite code and everybody can join in or call in. Um, it's unlimited calling for only $49 a month. And it lets you work on projects together as well. So like Raggable and I were using it to work on Beyond the Clipping Plane. He was showing me an After Effects project and the matte work on the green screen and it was really cool. It's, it's working out pretty good for us. Uh, if you'd like to give it a try, go to gotomeeting.com slash podcast and get your free 45-day trial. That's a free 45-day trial. Uh, just go to gotomeeting.com slash podcast. All right, so we're going to do some really cool tests here with light structured image scanning. So if you're asking me, what the heck is that? Well, I'm going to show you. Light structured capture. This is where you project a pattern on your face with a projector and capture it at 60 frames per second. And if it's all done right, you should want able you should be able to end up with a 3D scan. Um, as this only requires one camera, which is like amazing. It's just kind of capturing how the lights bent around or the the patterns are bent around your face or any object. It's really amazing. Anyways, um, so I'm just using a structured light capture program. And I'm actually using a pretty high-end Sony EX3 camera. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, glasses. Uh, it probably looks a lot better without my glasses. Anyways, uh, I can only capture about 100 seconds, so pretty cool stuff, huh? Mr. Sock Monkey. And Mr. Sock Monkey is being bombarded by a projector with these white lines. Explain to me what is happening when this white line goes by. Okay, so there's three patterns that are being shown, one right after another, and it almost uh, it looks like it's actually scanning across the Sock Monkey. And you can see on the Sock Monkey, it's very exaggerated. It works really well. The curve of the line, these are straight lines, but when they fall across the monkey, the, they've obviously got a curve to them. So the software can take that and it can say, oh, well, obviously, 
this is 3D. And once you put it into the computer, the com this is what the computer sees. Which is amazing, because normally this type of stuff would require at least two cameras to get any kind of depth. Yeah, because you have to have one that goes forward and one that goes to th the profile side, right? Right, right. You used to have them offset a little bit. But this, this developer's managed to get a pretty accurate read from a single camera in the light. Now, this is, this is different from what you showed us in the video, because this is actually real time. Like, let me show you this camera. This is what the camera is seeing, and this is what the computer is seeing. This is the same time. Like, here, let me prove it to you. Stay tuned as Couch Guy becomes in 3D. So you can see his hand is in front of the sock monkey right now. That's real time. That's amazing. It's amazing. Look at this is me. I'm Pox, and I'm in 3D. <laughs> this is Couch Guy in 3D. Yay. Yeah. I don't think I look good in 3D. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Uh, you know, for a sock monkey, he looks pretty good. Yeah. So um, I'm probably going to do a new intro for the show because we don't really have a set intro. But I was thinking this would be a really cool one just to have, you know, like our Mount Rushmore faces in 3D or something like that. Go to the Google project, download the source, um, play with it. I'll have a link on our show notes at twosmartguys.com. All the details are on the two different... Um, real-time capture and the non-real-time capture are inside that Google, you know, the instructions are how to do that. There. And there's also, um, if you want to do a really high-res scan that's just a still object, there's, in there's instructions on how to do that as well, where you basically project um, one image, take a picture, project the other image, take a picture, take the other, project another image, take a picture, and you can do it with a, you know, an 18 megapixel camera, and you can get a much... 18 megapixels. It's higher my mind. higher resolution scan versus this this one that we're doing right now, which is just standard definition, but it's gaining its resolution from the frame rate itself. Pretty cool stuff. I don't know. For a sock monkey, you know, to come to life on a computer is kind of. I mean, you got that whole. You got some serious Z depth, and it's not it's not perfect uh, by any means. And you've well, got, no, but you've got controls um, in the software so you can adjust how much it's clipping out of the image. Uh, you can adjust things in the... You can actually take out the background if there's stuff in the background because it knows the depth. Same thing with foreground. Uh, this isn't a good example because we don't have much going on other than a sock monkey. Uh, you can do an actual mesh instead of a point cloud. This is closer to a real 3D object. I'd like to thank our... Affiliate? <laughs> Zazzle.com. Zazzle. So if you want to get your own personalized everything under the sun. Make a t-shirt, bumper stickers match. Yeah. Um, you can do it at Zazzle.com. You can even put it for sale, and other people can buy them on Zazzle. And they don't all have to be crude like what I put on there. Yeah. <laughs> and if you use our coupon code, two smart guys, you'll get 10% off on any, any order over $50 or more. So. And... If you make a really cool Two Smart Guys shirt, he'll buy it. Yes, I. that's my challenge. Make a Two Smart, guy, make a two smart Guys shirt, and if it's cool enough, I'll buy it, and I'll wear it on the show. And I'll even say, hey, if you want this shirt, go buy it, and you guys can make some money. <laughs> but it has to be cool. It can't just be like Two Smart Guys. Yeah, okay, so think of, think of something. Uh, if you want to email me, I'm pox at twosmartguys.com. Uh, I think we set you up with Couch Guy at twosmartguys.com. Oh, well, that's good, because I hope you have an email. <laughs> I didn't know about that. And uh, on Twitter... Um, I'm Tommy 5C. And Walking Crow, which, okay, I know it doesn't match, but that's what they yeah, are. Yeah. They are what they are. Yeah, it doesn't. And, of course, more shows at twosmartguys.com. We've got how to hack your PSP, your Wii, your jailbreak unlock iPhones, and uh, our web series, Beyond the Clipping Plane, which looks a lot like this weird 3D scanning we got. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like this weird 3D scanning. <laughs> it's a lot of CGI work, though. You guys did a really good job on it. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Um, yeah, two guys get trapped in a video game. A lot of fun. Um, we've got six episodes out now, or five soon. Soon to be six. Soon in to the be next six. six months. <laughs> and uh, we'll see. Oh, and this show um, is every Wednesday night. You can come and join the chat during our three-hour setup process. <laughs> and ten yeah, we will show. turn on the we will turn on the stream whether or not we're ready or not, which yeah. is actually to our demise, I think. Yeah, we um, probably shouldn't do that anymore. So. Um, <laughs> And if you if you decide you want to contribute to making this show work faster, uh, for some reason, and you don't like the fact that it starts two hours late all the time, if you donate ten dollars to the show, you'll get a free DVD 
and we'll try to be for every ten dollars we'll get we'll try to be five minutes earlier <laughs> there you so go. instead of for two hours you know <laughs> after 40 donations you know we'll be on time that's a good threat you know <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week this has been a two smart guys production Two friends must rise up and face their destiny. Holy Trapped in an evil video game cartridge, the duo must seek out allies. What can I get for you fellows? You better eat up or you're gonna get squished too. Find a way to get beyond the clipping plane.